Let's decorate our bookshelves for Christmas! So today we are going to be decorating the bookshelves for Christmas. We are going to be adding some like ornaments and some tiny trees and a couple of years ago I actually got this pink tree after Christmas. It was like 90% off or something. And this is the first year I've actually brought it out of the box to use because it's the first time I've had space in my office to actually use it. And this is not the best tree in the whole wide world. It is a little bit falling apart, but we're going to put some pretty pastel colored ornaments on it and we are going to decorate it and make it look all cute for Christmas and we are going to do all the cool bookshelvy things. So I'm pretty excited for this. The first time I've seen this particular tree. So I have these really cute little cupcake ornaments that I bought years ago when I bought this tree, and I actually bought some pink, I think it was like pink and silvery type ornaments to go with it, but I have no idea where those ended up in the move. So I actually went to Target and I bought some like pastel colored ornaments. They're so cute. I love them and they remind me a lot of the world inside of Sugar Coated, which is my novel about Hansel and Gretel's witch actually working with Hansel and Gretel to assassinate the Mad King and when their plan kind of falls apart, she ends up taking the blame for the botched assassination and they cast her as the witch. So I'm kind of doing a, a sugar-coated inspired tree this year because everything is all like candy colored and super pretty when it comes to sugar-coated and so I just kind of want to build off of that for my inspiration for my tree this year. And I do have, I do have a full size tree, it's just not in this room. I just wanted a cute little like adorable tree for my office. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the cupcakes. Um, I'm going to be very careful because I keep breaking things today and we don't want to continue to do that. So I am just going to display the cupcakes and we'll move on with the other ornaments. And I do want to make sure that I'm focused on the front of my tree because nobody's going to see the back. That's going to be against a wall or against the bookshelf, wherever it ends up. I'm going to move things around as I am working and filming different videos. So it's gonna be in a lot of different places. So I just kind of want to decorate more so the front than the back. So the cupcakes are all gonna to go toward the front of my little pink tree, which by the way, has not held up so well over the years. I know it's my first time using this, but like, wow. So today as I'm filming is actually the day that my new Christmas short story releases. It is a surprise release and so later today I'm actually going to have to do a bunch of live streams. I'm going to have to tell everybody the book is out. It's currently out. It's like sitting there in all the buying platforms but people just don't know it exists yet. And so every time I film, or I film, every time I do a surprise release, the book always hits number one on the charts. And so I am testing today because usually I don't release these during like Christmas when everybody's saving money for presents. So we'll see how it does in sales, but I think because it's time sensitive, it'll actually do pretty well. So we're gonna do some live streams for sure on Instagram. We're gonna do one for sure on TikTok. And then we may do some behind the scenes on YouTube and Facebook as well. So I do have to do some live streaming today to kind of promote that and talk about that and show that off for everybody. So I'm really excited for that. But I wanted to make sure we got this decorated first, especially since I can then use it as a background for my videos later. I think there's a lot of blue. Like the, of these ornaments, there's just a lot, a lot of blue, which isn't a bad thing. I just feel like there's a lot of it. So I'm just like right now just like looking for places that have kind of like gaps over on this side and then I'm going to check over on the other side because we got to do that side too. Make sure everybody is getting an even chance here. And let's see. Oh, 
I don't know where I want to put these. I'm like looking for spots that are bare, but also there's a lot of pink in this general area, so I want to make sure. Ooh, there's a sparkly green one. I don't think I've used a sparkly green one before. Let me go ahead and put that one right there. Oh, that kind of that kind of looks nice. I like that. And so then I'm just going to maybe add another green one up higher, I think, just to kind of balance it it's a little. When I say a little, I mean it's very hard to see a oh, mystery. There we go. I don't think they gave me enough hooks for all of these. I think that um, I think that I have less hooks maybe than I do cute little ornaments. Though <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to take a look. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Oh yeah, we need a little work over here. So we're just gonna keep going, getting all these decorated. Now I am gonna be putting like small little trees up on the bookshelves. I am gonna be putting um, maybe some jingle bells. I've got some Christmas mugs that we're gonna be using, which will be a lot of fun. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in some of the gap space on the bookshelf. So I'm not really taking anything away. I'm just kind of adding in some Christmassy vibes. And then if I have time, I actually have right over there, there's a fireplace inside of my office and I think I might I might decorate the mantle there. I haven't quite figured it out. It's, it's built for propane, so I can't even put anything inside. Like, it's a fake little fireplace, um, but we don't use propane because allergies, and so I just kind of have a, like a space where I could put candles and like all the cool stuff, but I can't because they took up all the space with the wiring for the propane, so I'm kind of where I am with that. But I think I may, if I get the chance before I live stream, I may even decorate the mantle for the fireplace and do my live stream from there. Oh, that'd be so cool. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I start to do some of like my Christmassy vibe live streams in front of the fireplace? I want to hear from you. Get down in my comments and let me know. And since you guys are watching this after the fact, let me know. Did you pick up a copy of Saving North? for the surprise release. Did you guys check that out? Do you like it? Are you excited for the series? I'm pretty excited for it because it's a six book series and it is all about the different holidays. So like after this one, it's New Year's and then Valentine's Day and then you've got St. Patrick's Day and Easter and Halloween for all of those and it's just one of those like really cool series where you can read it as a standalone or you can read it as a series but it doesn't matter what order it is because it's all about the different girls doing their different part of saving their world it's kind of fun and there's so many swoony men in that one. Oh, i love it so much it is fantastic i'm super excited for oh no for the release of for the release of this series it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm just kind of like looking for gaps where pretty things can fit in. There's a lot of like concentrated white in certain areas on this, like the glittery white orbs. I want to add in some blue. I don't know. I wish there was a little more, a little more variety. It looks like a lot of variety, but now that I'm seeing it all together, it kind of sort of looks like it's, it's just like a lot of the same. And it's turning out cute, so I, I can run with this. Maybe I do have enough hooks. So next step, we're gonna decorate the shelves. My next step is to add in a bunch of like really big ornaments, and I'm just gonna kind of find cute places for them to go. And then I'm going to add in some small ones to add little pops of detail around that. Now I have this little collection of Christmas trees, kind of like little wooden things. I got them in the dollar bins at Target. I really kind of like them together, so I could space them out if I wanted to. I could even, like how cute would that be around my tree? I'm just saying. I think I'm gonna keep them together and I'm probably gonna put them right there in that general spot 
just because I don't mind blocking those spines as much. So I want to make sure I'm leaving like the important books out, which are mine because I'm an author and we promote our books. But anything I want seen, I kind of like make sure I don't block that as I go. And then we add in more. Now I've got these really cute mugs that I got a couple years ago. This is actually, I think this is from like the Dollar Tree. So it was really, really easy. I got to get your jingle on, which is super cute. And then I've got, and I love this one. This is chocolate made here, and it's not specifically Christmas, but it is from um, Gertrude Hawk Chocolate, which is a big chocolate factory up where I used to live in Pennsylvania. And every other year, they actually used to do a factory tour, and it was the most amazing thing because you would go in, and you'd have to wear a hairnet, you would have to wear booties on your shoes because you were in a factory that made food, so like health regulations. And so, you would go in and you would climb up like the big staircase inside and then you would go over and you would um, actually get to walk around and you would get to collect candy. So they gave you a bag and at every station you got to like pick up samples. So they made like smidgens and they do like the candy for ice cream and just like all the things. And it is so good. And if you guys are fans of The Office, you know The Office takes place in Scranton, Pennsylvania. They are from Pennsylvania, right in that general area over in Dunmore, which is right next to it. And so if you look at the vending machines in the office, you'll often see Gertrude Hawk candy bars, which that's not a thing. Those do not go in vending machines. That's just not realistic at all. But you could see them in the background and they would sometimes eat them on air. And so we would go to the chocolate factory and at every station they were like doing different tasks. So like boxing things or they were like making things or covering things in chocolate or like all the cool things. And so we got to actually experience all that and then get samples from all of them. And they had a costume decorating contest. So each of the different stations or the sections could actually come up with a theme. And then at the end, the viewers, the people who got to walk through got to vote. And then they won like a pizza party or like some kind of cool prize for their decorative stuff and it was just so much fun and and like they would have um, a factory sale across the street at the outlet the factory outlet for the candy store so they had like the factory then they had the outlet and they had stores throughout Pennsylvania or the Northeast Pennsylvania anyway and um, you could go meet Santa and you could get like super cheap overrun stuff and like all the cool things and I, I, I kid you not there was a time when I had gone to this factory tour and I was leaving and somebody pulled up in a limo to go to the candy factory tour. And so they brought a limo. They were all dressed up and they went in to the candy factory tour. It was like the coolest thing ever. And so every other year you got to go see all the workers dressed up with their different themes and their costumes. And you got to vote. You got like a huge bag of candy when you walked away from it. And they've recently changed it. They actually have a new factory now and it's more automated. So less people. So it's a lot less fun now. So I don't go to it anymore because I don't live there anymore, but it's not quite as fun as it used to be. But this is from the Gertrude Hawk factory and oh, just so many good memories there. So this is definitely for sure going up on probably right around here. We'll give it a little place of honor there that's tucked away behind the tree so y'all can't see it. Let's put it, actually, better yet, let's put it here by sugar coated because that's a really good place for that to go because candy. I do have, I don't know why I've got it in there, but just like the little decorations. And so we're going to go ahead and we are going to start filling this in a little bit. So my star definitely is not going to fit on top of my tree, but I'm thinking... I may put one of my bows there. So I got some really pretty purple bows to kind of go with my tree back when I first bought it a couple years ago on Clarence. And I, I'm such a big fan of like purple and pink together because we're going all candy inspired this year. We're just gonna run with it. We're gonna put a purple bow up on the top. So I'm just fluffing this out as we go. I found my tree skirt too, so we're gonna add that in. Um, around my tree. I don't know if you guys can see it where you are, but it's going to be really cool. But I'm just fluffing out my bow here. I've got a couple of these, but we're just going to run with, with this particular set. And we're just going to fluff it. And I'm going to wrap this up soon because I have to go do live streams for you guys to tell you about Saving North. So we're going to, we're going to get ourselves on over there and do all that. And we're just going to 
try this on. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Um, oh! Yo! Ha! I found them. I found the tiny ornaments in the tinsel. Figures I would find them now, right? And this is just my tiny tree skirt. Look how adorable this is. It's just like a little silver tree skirt. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that right around my tree so that we are good to go. That's adorable, I love that. So then, I also have bells that I can be putting out places and I've got bows. So I think I'm just gonna kind of spread them along my bookshelf and I'll be good to go. These are like, this might be, this might be a project for later. It's a little bit um, tied up, <laughs> but I've got some loose ones too. So I'm just gonna kind of spread them out um, I got a bunch of green ones all in one section, so I am going to kind of move these around a little bit. I'm looking at the shelves and I'm thinking maybe no to the bows. I feel like that might be a little overkill, and also I need bows for the presents. So we're just gonna say thank you anyway and pass on that one. Um, so that point I'm just kind of glancing to see what else I have. I know I've got like little decorative things, but I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about it. I do, oh, so I've got um like a snow queen crown over there. I may put that on the shelves. I may put it down here. Let me get that. Okay, so I've got my little snow queen crown. You guys have seen me wear it in my live streams before when we did like the Halloween episodes and things like that. So I'm just gonna put this over here, kind of down low because you don't really, when I do a lot of my video work, you don't really see all the sections in my five stack. So I've got my five stack here. There's like five different sections, and then I've got the three stack over there. I do my live streams in front of. But when I do this, I usually zoom in a little bit so that you see more of the face, and so you don't always see the end caps on here. So I don't decorate them as much. But like, how dang cute is this? So I'm recommending, when you do something like this, I'm recommending like cute bookish colors if you're going to be like designing your tree after a book and you want to go like pastel, I definitely recommend going with sugar-coated inspired vibes, guys, just saying. But I've got over two dozen books for you, including a brand new Christmas short story called Saving North that you can inspire your trees after. So if you are designing your tree or your bookshelves after book, I want to hear which one. Let me know and let me know what decorations you're doing down below. And so we've got all the cool stuff going on here. I've got giant ornaments sitting on my shelves which are going to make a pop in all of my videos. I do have like the Christmassy mugs. I've got like little sprigs of things. I, I have other stuff but because I moved I don't know where my other stuff is. <laughs> I have no idea. It's packed away somewhere. We didn't get all the Christmas stuff out this year because it's just like kind of chaos with everything going on. But I love how my tree turned out. I love that it's inspired by Sugar Coated which is my Hansel and Gretel retelling. I was going to pull it out but I was going to knock an ornament over. So I love sugar-coated um, and the candy-colored vibes and like the twirly rooftops and like all the cool things inside of the story that inspired the tree and the little cupcakes because Annika's a baker and all the fun things. I love um, the big giant ornaments and the mugs and all the things. If I find other things, I may add stuff so you might actually see me doing things. But I actually have to go because I now have to live stream and let you guys know Saving North is out and uh, we are dropping a vlog on the behind the scenes of how I do my surprise book releases. So stay tuned, that's coming if you have not hit the subscribe notification bell. Now is the time. We're continuing our other vlog series, the Show Me How You Write series, our publishing 101 information to help you grow inside of the publishing industry. And we're doing our replays of all of our live streams on Instagram and on uh, TikTok, as well as the live streams on YouTube and on Facebook. We are answering your questions. We're doing behind the scenes, live book readings, all the fun things. And I can't wait for you to hang out with me more. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell. Let me know what is your favorite part of my bookshelves. Is it my tree? The colors on my tree? Is it the giant ornaments? Is it like the jingle bells? Let me know what your favorite part is. And let me know how you're decorating your bookshelves for Christmas or the holidays this year. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.